Hello, this is an introduction to uh, St. Lawrence Middle Church bell tower and clock. The clock is very soon to be uh, mechanised and this will help me in my older age to stop climbing this ladder, which I'm going to go up very soon, and to show you around and what happens in the clock tower and I'll also show you the bells in the higher chamber. This is to show the clock and its workings. Uh, the main clock is a Benson uh, from London, the clockmakers, to the Majesty of the Queen. The weights are in the corner, which we believe will be removed and, and have a mechanical device strapped to the clock on its frame. Right, I'd just like to show you the key which the clock is wound up by and I will give it a few turns just to show That is the chime side which is wound up 46 times on a Sunday morning to make it run over seven days. This side of the clock is wound up 42 times on a Sunday morning. This giving the clock another seven and a half days on the other side because one side is the chime side and one side is the clock side. As you see underneath the pendulum swings and it's in its own little box which you can see from downstairs. You can stop the clock by stopping the uh, pendulum. We can add time on but we can't stop time. So to stop time we have to stop the uh, pendulum and let the clock and let time pass by and then restart the clock as in summer time and winter time. The clock gets maintained every 12 months. A company comes in, it greases, oils, maintains, checks the ropes which hold the weights that keep the clock going. Now we'll shut the clock away and we'll proceed up to the bells which are down the side of the clock and up some more steps. Another short steps up to the bell tower where I have to remove the lid to get through. I'll look around the bells and, and check them and make sure they're okay. Okay, I've now climbed up underneath the bell frame, underneath the fifth bell, which is that way. I've got the sixth bell on my right in the back, and then I've got number one, which is treble on my left, number two, number three, and number four, which is directly in front of me. All the bells are mounted in different ways so as to balance out the tower when ringing in full deal. This is the biggest bell we have, just around 10 hundredweight. This is the bell that the clock strikes on. If you look a little bit lower, we have the striker for the clock, which is down here, mounted, with mechanism going through to the clock, which gives us a chime on an hourly basis. Up above me is a ladder that goes out onto the top of the tower. I will go through and take a surround of Biddulf. We're up on the top of the tower now. A bit breezy, sun shining, and I'm on the north side. So we 
we've got Congleton, Main Road, down behind me. Now we'll do a panoramic view from Biddle Park, over on my left, and all the way around and back again. which gets in Biddulph, Nibersley and beyond. Coming round to Malkop. We're now on the west side which we've got Tongs and Edge behind me coming round to the north again and onto the churchyard which is looking splendid today Okay, here we go back down the uh, last uh, lot of steps, which is a little precarious, but I've been doing it a long time now. And my Uncle Bill before me, Bill Hazeldine, who showed me how to go on in this tower. These are the inscriptions on the bells which were put in in 1873. Number one, my gentle voice shall lead the cheerful sound. Peace to this parish, may good will abound. On number two, may all the truth and harmony rejoice to honour church and queen with heart and voice. Number three, prosperity attend Old England's shore, let Biddle flourish now and evermore. Number four, with loving voice I call to church and prayer, and bid the living for the grave prepare. Number five, for mercies underserved this peal was raised, and may thy name, O God, through Christ be praised. Number six, to honour and glory, O God, this peal of six bells was given to the parish church of Biddulph by Robert Heath Esquire of Biddulph Grange, 1873. On the walls we have some plaques. They were 
done by Jonah Cottrell, the stonemason of Biddulph and a member of this church many years ago. Here are the plaques starting here on the south wall, dated 1912. As we go round, 1930, 1923, 1903, 1929, 1935, and also the year I was born, 1951. These plaques are to celebrate the peals that were rang by the ringers in those days. Association of Change Ringers, which we are members, organised January 18. 83. Notice and remember, these are rules of the belfry, that the belfry is part of the church and is consecrated to the service of Almighty God. Hats therefore are not to be worn in the belfry, nor should any loose or careless conduct be indulged in. Complete silence is expected whilst members are ringing. As the bells were put in this church in 1873, they were also refurbished in 1990-91. This plaque was erected in thanksgiving to all who gave towards the restoration of the bells 1990-91. A project stimulated initially through generous bequests from William Hazeldine and David Brodie Legacy. The David Brodie Legacy was left by David Brodie himself, who was a vicar of this church in the 1900s. To God be the glory, great things he has done. Good morning, here we are back again now to have a look at the new installation for winding the clock up. We're now going to go up into the clock tower and have a look. Take a look at the uh, new Fittings for make the clock work. Well, it looks like we have the new electrical supply on the right hand side here, and the new gearing and new cables. And we go down underneath, and we have two 12 volt low geared motors with its own weights now as the old weights are redundant and this keeps the clock going and it does exactly the same thing without us climbing up here every week to wind it up apparently the, it winds itself up twice a day we have uh, weights on my right hand side here which are for the clock and the weights for the chime is on the other side of the cabinet the weights only go up and down five to six feet as I say we've got one over the other side of the cabinet which is on the outside but the bulk of it is connected to the clock frame and it looks a good job So, hopefully, I won't have to come up here many times a year now, probably summer, winter time, to alter the clock uh, forward an hour, back an hour, and for the engineer to come and service it once a year. Make my way back down now and uh, 
the job will be done. As a final note, we're just going to show a couple of minutes of uh, ringing which goes on in this tower twice on a Sunday and weddings. If anybody's interested in bell ringing or even wants to learn, they can always get in touch and we'll put them through the paces and learn how to ring bells.